I'm going to show you how to make any kind of pop-up in Elementor. And I'm also going to show you how to set up pop-up triggers so you can decide when to show the pop-up, like when the user is trying to exit, or maybe you want to link the pop-up to a button. Let's get started. To create a pop-up, we're going to go to our website's dashboard, and then under Elementor, we're going to click Templates. To make a pop-up, you need to have Elementor Pro. If you don't have it, you can get it at the first link in the description. Once you go to Templates, click Add New, then from Select, choose Pop-up. You can name it whatever you want, but I'm going to call mine's Pop-up, and click Create template. The first thing Elementor is going to show you is a bunch of pre-made pop-up templates. For example, if I try inserting this one, and you can see that I have it right here, let's say that I want to change this picture. Because this pop-up is pre-made, it's really hard to see where this picture is. Is it in this column up here? Well, I can click the column, go to style, and the picture is not here. Is it in the whole section? Well, I can click this section up here, go to style, and I can see it's not there either. Eventually to figure something like this out, you can use the navigator by right clicking and clicking navigator and then searching through all the sections to figure out where the pop-up is. And here I can see it was in the second column of this section. So there's actually two sections overlapped here, which is really confusing. That's why it's not a good idea to always use templates. Instead, I'm gonna show you how to make a pop-up from scratch. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo all of this to start from scratch. From here, you can make a pop-up the same way you would make an Elementor section. By default, your pop-up is in the middle but maybe you want it to be in the footer or on the left-hand side or right-hand side. To control that, simply go to settings down here. And then here where it says position, you can control if it's on the left or if it's at the top and it's height. So it can be fit to content or fit to screen and also it's width. So like this, you could have a side pop-up or here in position, you could choose the bottom, take off fit to screen to fit content and then make it wider and then set it to 100% and that way you could have a bottom one, like if you want to have a cookies pop-up. But for this example, let's just build a regular pop-up. So let me go back and undo all of this and go back to all my elements. So we can just create a normal pop-up by clicking the plus, picking a section, and then we can drag and drop in some elements like a heading. And I'm just gonna say something like wait, because I want this pop-up to show up when the user is about to leave my website. So we'll set this to center. And now let's add a background. So we can go here to the section settings and then here under height, let's set up a minimum height. And from vertical height, let's pick a good size here. So maybe like this. And now let's plug in a background so we can just go to style and go to background image and select an image and let's just pick one and click insert. And then we can set our settings to center and cover for the size. And let's configure this text color. I'm assuming that you already have a pretty good idea of how to use Elementor itself. Maybe just need help with the pop-up builder. So now we're gonna make this a little bit bigger and then maybe we can add a little subheading. For example, let's duplicate this. Uh, let's try get our get our best offer. And let's make this text a little bit smaller. Right, so we're trying to keep the person from leaving our website. And then we'll add a button in here. And we can put it in the middle. And then maybe this will go to, you know, a, a, an offer page or you know, whatever page we want it to go to. So let's just make it go to the contact page for now. And we can go to style to fix the colors of the button. And let's make it, uh, for example, red. So that it like really stands out. Just an example. It doesn't look that good, but you guys get it. And let's make this background a little bit darker. So let's go back to this styling here. Let's go to background overlay. Let's add a classic overlay of black. And there you go. Let's say that now when somebody is about to leave our website, we want this pop to show up so they can stay on our website. So this can be something like, you know, wait, we have an offer for you or wait, check out this blog post. Or, you know, you can plug in here a contact form and, you know, get their email, whatever you want to do. So here's our pop up. Next, we have to tell our website where and when to show our pop-up. To do that, let's click Publish. And here under Conditions, uh, it asks you where do you want to show it. So let's click Add a Condition. And we can show it here on our entire website. But this can be kind of annoying because every time somebody goes to a different page on your website, it shows up. So I like to make it only show up on the home page. So here, instead of entire site, let's go to Singular for like a singular page. And then instead of all singular, let's look for Pages. And then in pages, instead of all, let's do just the home page. So I'll type in home and it found it right there. So we're going to select home. Now it'll only show on the home page. Next here we have some triggers, uh, things that will make the pop-up show up. So it's only going to show up in the home page. That's where. And now we have to say when. So do you want it to show up as soon as the page loads? You know, if you want the pop to show right away, you can turn this on. You want it to show up when somebody scrolls down. Do you want it to show up when they click on a specific, you know, widget or element? When they click on some part of the website after a few minutes or on page exit intent. Now, pop-ups are really annoying to most users. 
So I like using on exit intent because this means that the person is already about to leave your website. So, you know, they're going to leave anyways. You know, it's good to use a pop-up as a last ditch effort to try to get them to stay on your website a little bit longer or interact with your company a little bit more. So I like using this one. Let's turn it on. And this works by tracking their mouse. So when their mouse goes to close the tab or to switch to another tab, this automatically triggers the pop-up. Then we have advanced rules. Here we can pick if you want the pop-up to show up after they visited a few pages or a few sessions or X amount of times. And it can be really complicated and specific. Um, this part is not really useful unless you're like tracking your users with a cookie or something like that. So I usually leave this blank. So we have our conditions and our trigger set up. Now we can click next. And finally click save and close. Let's preview it by clicking this little eyeball here. All right, so that's the preview, but we wanna see it in action. So let's close out of here and let's go back to our regular website. Okay, so here's our website. And the pop-up is supposed to show up when we're about to exit our website. So if I take my mouse and I move it here, like I'm gonna close the tab, there you go, our pop-up shows up automatically. That's exactly what we want. And the person gets the offer. Now in all the options we saw, it didn't really show how to connect your pop-up to a button. Maybe on your website you have an offer button or a, a contact button or somewhere where you want them to click and then a pop-up to show up. So how do you configure that? Well, back in your pop-up, if you want your pop-up to show up only when they click a button, all you have to do is go back here to this little arrow to display conditions. And all these conditions, just turn them off. Just put exclude, you know, exclude entire site. So this means do not show my pop-up automatically at all. And then for triggers, turn this off. We don't want the website to automatically trigger the pop-up in any way, shape or form. We're gonna connect it to a button. So we're gonna have everything blank, just like this. And then we're gonna click next and next and save and close. And now we see the pop-up doesn't show up anymore. So we can close out of here. And this is how you link it to a button. So I'm gonna link the pop-up to this contact button. And you know, you can even put a contact form in your pop-up. So to do that, all you have to do is edit the page where the button is. So you can drag and drop in a new button or use a button that already exists. I'm gonna use the contact button. So let's click this contact button here. And then here I had it set up with a contact link, but let's erase this link and erase the word contact. You can put whatever you want here, you know. Maybe you wanna put like offer or you know contact, whatever you wanna say. But here's the important part. You're gonna click right here on this little cylinder that says dynamic tags. And then you're gonna scroll down to actions and choose pop-up. And then you're gonna see that it says pop-up. Next, you're gonna click this little gear and under action, it's gonna say open pop-up, but we want it to open a specific pop-up. So let's click here where it says all, and you have to search the name of your pop-up. Remember, I called my pop-up pop-up, but you can call yours whatever you want. So let's just search for that. And here I found up my pop-up template, the one that I named pop-up. So we're gonna choose that one. And there it is. And now we're gonna click update and let's preview it and go back to our website. So here's our website and here's our button. And when we click it, our pop-up shows up. That's how you create pop-ups and link them to buttons. Please remember to like this video if you liked it. Leave any question you have in the comments. Please subscribe and have a great day.